All right, Kevin. Give us your <clears throat> podium list for all-time great war movies, buddy. I uh, actually had trouble with this one. I didn't know exactly what route I wanted to go with this. I know. I mm-hmm. kind of wanted to. I almost wanted to go Star Wars, but but number one. Yeah. Wait, number one or, or number three? Number, oh, shit. Cut number three. My first choice. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, John. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is actually a newer one that I hadn't seen until last year, and it's uh, it's from well, it's from 2019, but the movie is 1917. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's going back to World yep. War One. Yeah. And this movie yep. really puts you in the shoes of the character, especially with the continuous shot. I think there's a total of two shots in the whole movie. Well, yeah, two shots in the yep. whole movie where you're just continuously with them, which in itself is, is amazing. And then um, it, it really, sh- I actually crossed out it shows the cruelty of war. I cross it out and put, it shows the brutality of war, mm. but really the cruelty and brutality of war in a very personal way. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of, it, it chase, it follows them in the bunker, right? I mean, they're kind of running. Yeah, that's around. part of it. Part of it. Yeah. Right? It's trenches. Yeah. It's in the trenches. trenches yeah. It's based off of uh, two two soldiers that are meant to mm-hmm. deliver a message to stop right. an attack that they were going to be ambushed on to save 1,600 men. So it's okay. all up to two guys to save this whole battalion. And um, there's a particular scene in this movie that <laughs> that shows uh, there's a dogfight going on above them and the, above like random farmland, and an enemy pilot goes down. And survives the crash, and he's heavily injured. And uh, Schofield, one of the guys, goes to try to get him water to help him out. And while that's happening, his partner ends up getting stabbed in the back by that pilot that they're trying mm. to help. Stop! No! 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 <laughs> And that's where it kind of, that's that whole realization that you're in a war. It's just a reminder of why war is just truly awful. Nice. Nice. I actually haven't seen that. But I uh, highly I recommend it. was up it. for Best Picture. It was a nominee, I believe. And I think it won a few awards. Yeah. I don't remember I which one. Maybe uh, cinematography or something. Well, I am actually going to have a uh, repeat on this list as a former list. And uh, came out in 2009, and it's Inglorious Bastards. Oh, nice. yeah. I almost went there. Yeah, nice. I, I I was teetering on putting this on there, but it's such an enjoy. I love this movie. Mm-hmm. And it's it's not historically accurate by any means, but you know <laughs> that going into it. I, I, and uh, the acting is top-notch. It's written and directed beautifully and entertaining throughout. Like, uh, there's not a boring moment in that, even – through the dialogue because it's a Tarantino movie. If I have my way, you wear a goddamn uniform for the rest of your pecker sucking life. If I'm aware it ain't practical. I mean, at some point you gotta have to take it off. I said it before, it's my it's my favorite personal Tarantino movie, and it's still probably one of my top ten favorite movies of all time, personally. Uh, it's just that good. Yeah, it really yeah, it is, is awesome. I mean, we we touched on it before, but like all of the all the actors, Brad Pitt, he does such a great job. You have Christoph Waltz coming in there. I mean, he does oh, such gosh. a great villain. It, I mean, he yeah. he is such a person you want to see lose in a war, and the, that's kind of the, one of those things when you watch a war movie, you want to find somebody to go against, right? Yeah. The, exactly. the, yeah. the scene with the, was it the little girl under the house? Yeah. Of course. 
Yeah, that, the beginning that's of the, the, movie. the opening scene. Yeah, the opening scene. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's it's fine. Yeah, though. it's 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 one of those war movies where they're clear cut good guys and bad guys, which yep. makes for a more enjoyable war movie to me because like yeah, those exactly. the war movies with morally gray areas are like this is too much like real life yeah exactly. <laughs> dude yeah. we're on the same tell page me, like rest it's like wrestling like tell me who to like <laughs> tell me not who to like and then i'll make yeah. a yeah. decision yeah but um with my number one i have to be 100 percent agreeance with daniel that Saving Private Ryan is the best war movie ever made. And it mm. was in 1998. I had to look that up. But yep. the, um, that's crazy. Yeah. It's an epic war. Yeah. yeah. An epic war movie. It's all star cast written from research and interviews from actual World War II veterans. Yeah. Very so accurate. It, it, it's, accurate. I mean, it's, it's accurate to a point, but, um, I mean, there, there's some criticism sure. about certain things, but the, um, I mean, it's definitely not a fun story, but but you're captivated by this movie. Like you want to keep watch, like you want to keep watching, even the, even though you really don't, but you do. If that makes sense, just because it's yeah, just you, the horror of war. You want yeah. to see what happens to all these guys that you get invested in, in He's, the you know as the movie goes along. Even if you don't necessarily enjoy where the movie takes them. I'm here to do the decent thing. We're gonna follow fucking orders. So take this goddamn kid. Exactly. Yeah. Still like, you yeah. just, you, it does a really good job of going like, oh, this this guy's this, you know, like this. This guy's like this, and you know, you're like, oh, I. I like that guy, and I like that guy, and I like that guy, and it's got Tom Hanks, and it's yeah, you know. That's yeah, a good hell, point. Giovanni Ribisi's in this. So is Vin Diesel. Like I always forget yeah, Vin I, Diesel's in this movie. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, I, I I think that's a good point. As the biggest cast of people fighting in a war that you're trying to root for, in most cases, when you're watching a war movie, it's like one to three guys, and you feel real isolated. Or in like Full Metal Jacket's case, you have some bonkers people, but you're not really rooting for anybody. And so, like, most of these war movies are kind of like that. Well, same for Ryan. It's almost, it, it's very similar to Band of Brothers, where there's a group of people that you're rooting for and you're interested and you're invested in them. And yeah, same for Ryan. From my understanding, such a good job of that. Yeah, from yeah. my understanding, Band of Brothers was heavily influenced from this movie. Hell, Tom Hanks 100%. produced Band of Brothers, if I remember correctly. Yeah, exactly yeah. why I bring it up. For and, sure, and, uh, and Band of Brothers is is a whole different animal because you get the series of nature, so you really get to know those guys. Yeah. Where this this great movie series. does a great job of getting you like up to date on like who these guys are and why you're rooting for these guys and everything. Yep. Yeah, in a quick, concise way. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's I think that it's similar with 1917 in that aspect. Only in 1917, you're really only invested in the two guys, but you really mm -hmm. grow into those two guys in that adventure. This right. is a, oh, I know it's on a whole brigade or battalion, but it's like, what, 10, 12 guys? Yeah. It's, it's a larger scope. Large. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and it shows right. like the bond between all of them and how they bonded and why they bonded. And it's, it's, it's just truly a, it's just a great war movie. Yeah. Agreed.